and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I am going to be preserving rose hips and making a rose hip syrup uh, to see us through the winter months. Rose hips are full of vitamin C, so um, help keep the bugs away. Um, the used rose hip syrup during wartime, um, when food was more scarce as well. Um, I regularly make it for my own children to keep the winter bugs away. Um, I've been doing it for about three, four years now. They love it. I enjoy it as well. Um, really, really tasty. So uh, here we go. Um, I've put my rose hips. It's going to take a few goes. I've got 1.5 kilos of rose hips to bottle, basically. And I'm just putting them in here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to blend these. I'm probably going to have to do them in three lots. And I will boil up, um, just trying to think, I think it'll be three litres of water. And once these are um, pulped and mushy, I'll be transferring it to that water. So just bear with me a minute. I'll uh, come off whilst I blend this. You don't need to hear that. And um, I'll show you the next stage when they're blended. Right, I've brought the water to the boil. I've had to do two pans of it, that one's still coming up to the boil. Um, I've got one litre in there, two litres in there, and I'm going to put 100, um, sorry, no, one kilogram of um, ble um, blended rose hip in there, and 500 gram in this one. And uh, that's what it looks like when you blend it up. And we'll put this one in now. And all I'm going to do with this, let's not leave any in there, is I've, I've turned it off, you don't leave it turned on. Um, <laughs> I need a spatula again. Oh, I should do this before I uh, get them out before I film, shouldn't I really? But here we go. Just make sure that's all in there. Just put the lid on and let that steep for 20 minutes um, and I'll do the same with that one when it's ready and I will come back when that's done hello again we're now ready for the next stage of making the rose hip syrup um, I've got my muslin cloth here in a bowl and the bowl's just to catch the juice in a minute um, it's now steeped for 20 minutes um, I've got two of these today. I'll just show you with the one. All I'm going to do is slowly pour that into there and hope the bag doesn't pour the pliers in. Whilst I'm doing this, oh. uh. Right mess. What do? What I'm going to do? Take the corners of the bag. It's so not easy with one hand. I um, ordered a tripod that should be here soon. I can't wait. It makes life so much easier. And what I will do? What I normally do. You leaving the liquid run through like that you say um, what I sometimes do is hang it for a few minutes to drain through uh, I'll, I'll tie it with a band at the top and hang it off a hook um, off one of my door handles we've got to be careful not to rip the bag which these are um, Kilner muslin cloths which they're pretty sturdy, it's unlikely. Look at all of that. Okay. 
Uh, I'm going to come off here because I need two hands to do this and I will show you the next step in a minute once I've drained all the juice from both of the pans. Hello, I'm back again. Um, I've strained all the chopped rose hips through the muslin cloth um, and put it back into the pan. And what I'll do next is simply put the pan lid. Oh, it's here. Put the pan lid on it. Bring it back to the boil. And I'll, and once it's reached boiling point again. I will turn off the heat and allow it to steep for another 20 minutes. It's quite, quite easy really to do this. And I'll be back again when I'm ready for the next stage. Hello again. We're now on to the next part of the process. This has been steeped for another 20 minutes. So what I'm going to do is take this and again I'm going to strain it through the muslin bags. I'll see if I can do it without putting you down but no it's too heavy um so i will strain it now and then i will come back to you in a minute um i'm having to do this into two separate pans for the next part because that one's not going to be big enough to add the sugar and it's going to overflow so I'll back in a second hello again that didn't take long at all um i've um strained the fluid through now and got rid of the remaining bits of yucky stuff that we don't want in our syrup that we're going to use to make cordial. Um, I have in these um, 400 grams of sugar in each so we both get 400 grams in. Um, I've weighed them out in advance obviously. I uh, made sure when I was putting the fluid into the <coughs> sorry, excuse me, the liquid into the um, pans that it was about the same amount in each, so I get the right amount of sugar in each. Um, Turning the stove on again. That one doesn't want to light. This one on. Pan lid. Oh, wrong one. That's for the big one. I don't know why my pan lid's gone. Awesome. Um, I'll have to find that in a minute. Don't really need it anyway. <coughs> On the stage, just um, see why that's not working. Wait. There you go. It's on. So we just got to dissolve the sugar in the pans first. And what I'm going to do is, once the sugar's dissolved, I'll simmer it for another five minutes and then I'll come back and um, tell you about the next step. Hello, um, right, it's had the five minutes simmer in with the sugar in it. So we're on to the final step, uh, which is to bottle it. 
Now these bottles have already been sterilised. Um, I've labelled it Rose Cordial with the date that I'm bottling it. Um, and I've got my funnel there to pour it in. This is going to be interesting trying to do this. Hang on, I'll just pop you down for a second. And have a look at my washroom. Right. Interesting to see how much we get out of that actually, so I wasn't sure how much we'd be getting. I don't fill it right to the top. Because I don't want my jar to my side, my bottle to smash. But I think we should get three of these done, which is plenty for the winter. And just look, I've left a bit of a gap there. These are good because they're airtight. Um, so it keeps it well. I'll just pop that to one side a minute. Do the next one. The last thing I want to do as well is get this on my camera. Be careful when you're doing this because it'll make the glass quite hot. You don't want to burn yourself. That's up. I think we'll get, oops, just told my label. Doesn't matter. It's only so I know. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's only so I know when I bottled it. And the third one. Can't wait to get my tripod, then you'll be able to see more what I'm doing. use a little one as well. That's really good. I can put a bit of that one in here. It's full. Which will actually be perfect because I go away for a few days so I could save this for when we go away. So there we go. Just in them. Just need to write another couple of labels out. And these are shelf stable, so you don't have to put them in a the fridge or anything like that. Some people do, I don't. As it produces an airtight seal on here when you snap that down. Um you can just leave them on the side, um, out of direct sunlight of course. And here we've got one I made uh, 30th of September 2019, just been sat on the side. No sign of um, any mould or anything like that forming. It's absolutely fine, that's the elderberry cordial. And I will show you, oh, hang on, put that on. I'll show you how to make that next year, because um, unfortunately I'm not able to get any more elderberries to do that video this year. Um, but out of, what was it, uh, one, um, 1 1.5 kilos of rose hips, we've got three, um, I think these are litre bottles, let's see, I've got labels here, yeah, these are litre bottles, that's half a litre, so three and a half litres of rose hip syrup to see us through the winter with the elderberry but the kids I must admit this is their favourite and this is also my favourite um, cordial so there are still some rose hips about 
if you fancy giving this a go. So go and have a look, see if you can find any, and give it a go. Dead easy. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you give it a go. Um, if you like the video, please like, um, subscribe. Any comments would be greatly appreciated. And um, please feel free to share the video. And thank you for watching. And I'll begin another video very soon. Thank you. Bye.